Hi, I'm Rajan Misri, Staff Engineer with Qualcomm Technologies, and today I'm going to talk to you about Qualcomm Robotics RP5 Development Kit and ROS or Robotics Operating System. I'll also leave you with some resources and projects that'll help you get started. Developer applications running in the user space can access multiple subsystems like camera, display, graphics, and audio using the Qualcomm Technologies GStreamer plugins. A middleware like ROS can also help the user application by extracting out the inner workings of the platform. For example, if you want to use and implement motor control and move your robot, you can do that using a ROS framework. Sensing and actuation are two basic functions that your robot will perform. So before you can make your robot move, you will need to feed it some sensor data. The development platform includes accelerometer and gyro sensors, and this sensor data can be obtained through sensor ROS nodes. You can also connect external sensors to the low speed and high speed headers. Depending on the type of sensor that you connect, you can access this data using standard SPI, I2C, UART, or other, any other interface. The use of these plugins facilitate chaining multiple components together, thus allows a clean abstraction between multiple behaviors. For example, the output of a source element can easily be consumed by a ROS node, and the ROS nodes can produce data for other GSC sync elements. These ROS nodes can also act as consumer for other user-defined topics. You can find some hands-on projects using ROS on developer.qualcom.com. For more information on the GStreamer plugins for the various subsystems and for AI, which also includes plugins for TensorFlow Lite and the Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for AI, please check out the software reference guide that is also on developer.qualcom.com. We hope this will help you get started with Qualcomm Robotics RB5 Development Kit and ROS.